Hi, I'm David, and welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're going to be making Christmas dinner in the camper van. So let's get the oven on to warm up, and then we'll go and get the ingredients. And let's get cracking. <laughs> So the cooker's lit, so we'll leave that to warm up for a little while. When running the cooker, always make sure you've got the lid open as well. So let's go through what we're going to be cooking. So we've got the perfect turkey joint, or so it says, will be the judge of that, which was £11 from Iceland. We've got carrot baubles with parsley and chive butter. We've got some pigs in blankets. Bye, they've gone up in price. Two pound. We've got some red cabbage and apple. We've got some button Brussels sprouts. We've got some roast potatoes. We've got some Yorkshire pudding. Well, I think you have to. And we've got some turkey gravy we've also got a little bit of mashed potato so all in all for all of that that came to 26 pound 15 and that will serve at least four people so in reality if we save some of it obviously the turkeys are a bit more difficult to save some of it um, that that will do is a couple of people for let's say 15 pounds that's what we're going to be cooking the turkey's going in very shortly so let's uh, get that unwrapped I'll pop this other stuff away until it's ready to cook and then let's get on with the Christmas dinner so we pop the turkey in the oven it did say to remove it from the tray and put it in a roasting dish I'm going to leave it in the uh, tray. So we've got about 50 minutes to go now. So I've popped in the roast potatoes and a few parsnips and just drained a bit of the juice off the turkey. Smelling lovely as well. So that's cooking lovely. So we put the turkey in about 11 o'clock and we added the potatoes and I did a couple of parsnips as well just some fresh parsnips in with that with a little bit of honey glazed on so next up um, we've got the carrots which take about 45 minutes to do that's the carrot baubles that's them there and what we need to do for these um, the instructions say um, place on a baking tray near the middle of the oven and then to stir them halfway through so we also need to remove the outer packaging and pierce the film lid several times so we'll do that in a moment we've also got the red cabbage and apple and that takes similar amount of time and the instructions on that one are to remove the outer packaging and film lid and place on a baking tray and stir again halfway through. And that one we need to completely remove the film lid. I did an extra shelf into the oven as well just to make sure we've got plenty of room to get everything in. So far so good. Just want to make sure we've got all the plastic off there but there's the, uh, there's the cabbage ready to go getting a bit of a tight squeeze now but we're still managing to get everything in and then after that we've got the pigs in blankets to go in which take 30 to 35 minutes and they need the film lid removing as well so we'll pop them in shortly so that's everything in the oven now and the table set could have done with the bigger table but I used the leg on that one I'm going to do a future video because I'm going to fit a swing out bit for the small table um, so watch out for that one in the new year 
So we're all set. We've got some cranberry sauce, some pepper, some salt, knives and forks, a spoon for the cranberry while that's cooking. So that's ready. The next thing to do now is there's the Yorkshire puddings need to go in for a few minutes at the end and I need to lift the turkey out shortly. And there's the sprouts, the mash and the gravy that I'm going to do in the microwave. You could obviously do the gravy and the sprouts and I'm not sure about the mash. Um, you could probably do that in the oven. Um, but uh, I'm going to do those in the microwave. Everything else has been cooked using gas in the oven. The total time to do this meal is around two and a half hours. Um, the turkey takes two hours, ten minutes, and then it needs about ten minutes to rest before serving up. So by the time you've done everything else, warm the oven and that sort of thing, just over two and a half hours. It's beginning to smell lovely and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. But let's see how it tastes. Next we're going to do the sprouts. So there's the sprouts. Um, just put a portion out the pack into a cup. Pop them in the centre of the microwave and they just want a couple of minutes. They look done after about a minute and a half, especially as we're going to leave them in the, um, in the oven as well. So we're going to transfer those now into a foil dish here. There you go. Pop them in the bottom of the oven. And I'm now going to lift the turkey out to rest it. Now we've got the gravy in the microwave. The parsnips got a bit cremated, unfortunately. So there we go, Christmas dinner made in the camper van and let's see how it tastes. So there we are nearly finished. Rachel, what did you think of your Christmas dinner cooked by me in the camper van? Dinner cooked by David reminds me of Christmas. It's like Santa, it happens once a year. <laughs> but I do have to say that was absolutely delicious. Thank you. It was really, really tasty. You've done well there. Well done. Good. Um, my, my comments on it are I burnt the parsnips. They were cremated, uh, to be fair. I did manage one of them, but uh, I've left it at that. Um, and the carrots, uh, the oven, um, I don't know if you guys find, but the oven, the temperature at the top versus the bottom tends to be significantly different. And I think the carrots could have done with slightly longer, although they were fine. They were just a little bit harder than I would have normally um, liked them. But absolutely spot on. The turkey was really nice. It had cooked really well. There's a load left for Roxy as well. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. But all in all, not a bad, um, not a bad job. And there's still plenty of sprouts, potatoes and that sort of thing left. So by no means have I used up all the ingredients. So they'll do for another time. But yeah. So Spot can on. you cook Christmas dinner in the camper van? Yes. yes, yes you can. And if you don't have a microwave, as I say, you could probably do the other bits or just change the ingredients slightly. But most of the stuff, as you saw, went in the oven. So last year it was a dream to be able to cook Christmas dinner. And I was so envious of people cooking the dinner in the, in the camper vans then. And uh, now we can do it. If you're waiting for your camper van, this could be you next year making your Christmas dinner. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.